Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you exactly how to bleed the air from your cooling system if you have an electric water pump on your BMW. So let's get started. Okay then, so here we have an N52 engine. Now it is important to remember that this video does apply to the N51, N52, N52N, N52K, N53, N54 and so on. Basically any BMW engine that comes with the electric water pump. Now typically it is located down here on the underside of the exhaust manifold and is located next to the oil pan. Now you can't see it from above, but trust me, it is usually down there. There is a few coolant pipes that do lead to it. And right now I'm gonna show you how to activate that without the car running to perform a coolant bleed test to bleed all of the air out of the coolant system. Let's say for example, you have done a coolant flush or you have replaced one of your coolant lines or you have done a repair such as as a head gasket anytime that you disturb your coolant system anytime you open anything up you essentially want to do a coolant flush because you have introduced air into the system now right now I'm going to show you exactly how to do that first thing is first you need to head on into the car now then first thing is first we want to insert our key and we want to switch the ignition on we do not want to start the engine just turn the ignition on and then what you want to do is turn your fan on it doesn't matter what speed it's on you just need to have your fan on you can just keep on fan speed one if you like but then what you want to do is actually turn the heat to the maximum because we want to introduce coolant into the heater core we want it to get around the entire coolant system because we want to bleed the air from you know the entire cooling system and then what you want to do once we have the fan activated we have the heat on maximum then what you want to do is actually step on the accelerator pedal you want to push it all the way down to the floor and then you want to hold it for 10 to 15 seconds so to be safe we'll hold it for 15 seconds and then we can let go and then if we head outside, we should now hear the electric water pump kick in. And then if we go ahead and take the cap off the reservoir. We should see water and potentially air squirting from this pipe here. This is the highest point so this is where the air and water gets pushed to and then it essentially squirts it back into the header tank now, as you can see it is doing the bleeding procedure right now and it needs to take 10 to 15 minutes so give it 15 minutes and then your coolant bleeding procedure should then be complete you should then no longer have any air in the entire system now it is worth remembering that because your ignition is on, because the water pump is active, that you are going to be using battery power. So if we have a look on the volt meter here, we can see we have 11.8 volts and we do not want that to drop below 11.7, otherwise we may have trouble starting the car. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light off and that has now gone back up to 11.9 which is okay okay then so when you have left it to do its thing for around 15 minutes or so you should then in theory no longer have any air in your cooling system now of course if you want to do it a second and a third time then be my guest but in theory you should not really need to do so um, so yeah, I hope this video has been somewhat helpful. I hope you have enjoyed it Please remember to give it a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you have not already done so because I've got a lot more videos like this to come on the way and I will see you all in that next one Peace